In calendar week 2, 116 Flutter and Dart packages were released. In this video we look at the 10 most popular ones in terms of likes. Among those we get a customizable and animated search bar, a package to easily implement a REST API, a way to finally get rid of the hashtag in the address bar of your Flutter web app and 7 more useful packages that made it into the top 10 of the week. Welcome to SynTechOps, my name is Jay and this channel is all about programming. If this sounds interesting to you, subscribe to the channel and now let's get started with Calendar Week 2. The first package combines two features from packages I've already presented in two previous videos, the parallax effect from week 51 and the lightbox from week 49. With the package animated image list you get an animated image list with parallax effect and image lightbox. Links to those two package release videos and the documentation of this package can be found in the video description down below. These days there's no getting around thinking about scale. With all the different formats and device sizes we need to think of a solution to dynamically adjust our content. The scale size package helps to design applications differently from GUI guides, even on devices with different resolutions. If you want to dynamically resize your texts, be sure to check out my tutorial on the auto size text package. Is your app too static and you would like to add a bit more movement? Then have a look at Floating Bubbles, a package for adding floating bubbles to the foreground of any Flutter widget. More cool animation plugins can be found in the weeks 42, 46 and 52. It is always good to visualize to the user how long a process takes to complete. For example to show the progress of downloading a file. The package SN Progress Dialog helps you to do exactly that, providing you with a customizable progress dialog that captures the progress value. Routing in Flutter can sometimes be quite complicated, especially because there are so many options. The following package is called Beamer and handles your application routing and synchronizes it with the browser URL and more. Additionally, Beamer uses the power of Navigator 2.0 features and implements all the underlying logic for you. Maybe you should take this route. As a developer, you should always strive for immutability. If you want to know the difference between immutable and mutable data types and understand the advantages of immutability, check out this video from the Google developer expert for Flutter and Dart, Pascal Welsch. He explains it in a simple, comprehensible and understandable way. And if you are convinced, then you will definitely like the next package, which is called Fast Immutable Collections. This one offers immutable lists, sets, maps and multimaps which are as fast as their native mutable counterparts. If your app has asynchronous tasks that are executed by a button click, then the next package can help you map different states. With Async Button Builder you get a builder to wrap around your buttons that handles the loading and disabled state. If you have ever created a Flutter web app, you've probably noticed the hashtag in the address bar. If you're also one of those who find it annoying and would rather remove it, you'll be happy to hear about the following package called URL Strategy, allowing you to set the web app URL strategy with a single line of code. With this package you can easily remove that ugly hashtag and your sleepless nights will come to an end. But number two brings us something very special, namely a simple way to implement a REST API. The package Block REST API is a generic block package to easily implement REST APIs in Flutter. All you have to do is to create a model, the rest is taken care of. With 19 likes as well, but 10 more pop points than Block REST API, the following and final package made it to the first place. And this is Anim Search Bar, a Flutter package that brings a customizable animated search bar. I hope you got some useful information in this video that will help you with your next Flutter app. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love to hear your feedback. 
for more videos, subscribe to the channel and as always further information can be found in the video description. Thank you for your attention, have a wonderful week and see you soon.